I am Kitty and I am here to give you guys some new content. I know it's been a while since I recorded a video for you all um, and I swear I'm gonna get back to the cash stuffing. It's just been super difficult with the current circumstances that I'm in. So I figured I'd give you guys something a little bit different. Um, I was here at my tech school during Exodus and I just wanted to show you guys um, how being at tech school during Exodus works. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into the video. So as you can see here, um, I literally had to clear every single thing out of my room, from under my sink, top of my sink. I had to remove everything from all of my desks. I had to clear everything. I had, it made I had to make it look like nobody was living here. Like the way that it looked when I first moved in, the bed has to be up against the wall, drawers empty, everything is empty, and then you have to place everything into your wall locker um neatly. <laughs> and so this is what my wall locker is looking like right now. I know it looks a little bit of a mess, but I know where everything is. So I try to be as organized as I could. Um, all of my clean clothes are in my laundry bin, which is behind the trash can. And then all of my dirty clothes are here in this laundry bag that I got at BMT. And then I have a couple other random items, the vacuum, things like that. On this side, excuse me, anywho. So this is what I'm working with and I am gonna go ahead and start unpacking. I don't know whether I just wanna do a transition of little by little for you guys or whether I wanna do a speed up video, um, but we'll see what happens and we'll see what I can film for you guys today. Okay, so I guess I just decided to do a voiceover for this part. Not like I really have to voiceover a lot, but I'm starting off by making my bed again. I just feel like if I make my bed, then it'll feel like my room is somewhat kind of together again. <laughs> but yeah, so I have a mattress protector because obviously a bunch of people come in and out of these dorms. And so you don't want to, well, at least in my opinion, I think it's best to get like some kind of mattress protector so that you can kind of just not be laying your sheets directly onto the mattress. I also wiped this mattress because I don't know if you could tell from the video, but it's kind of almost like a plastic, like, I don't know, but you can wipe it down. So when I first moved into the room, I took a Clorox wipe and I just kind of wiped down the mattress just to get rid of any germs or bacteria from anyone else that would have been laying on the mattress. Also, for some reason, when I came back, my mattress kind of had like an air bubble and that's why I was like laying on top of it to kind of try and get all that air pushed out of the mattress. It was so weird. So, unfortunately, I couldn't find my tripod. Um, I had packed it away, and it ended up being in, like, the last bag that I pulled out of my wall locker, funny enough. So, you can't really see it at the angle that I'm filming at, but I was just unpacking my suitcase here. So, I ended up taking home a lot of clothes just so that I could have less things to pack when I have to go to phase two. So, as you can see, I'm just unpacking all of my clean clothes that I packed up in my camper and I'm organizing it into piles so I know um, which pile is going to which drawer. I also like to line the bottom of the drawers with those towels that I got at BMT, even though I did wipe everything out when I first moved in with like Clorox wipes and any cleaning products that I could get. Just Give you one good time. And here I was just showing you guys an example of 
my way of rolling socks so that your socks can still look neat but you don't have to go through the struggle of trying to get them as perfect as you do at BMT. Something simple but something to make your drawers look a little bit neater. So the whole reason why I really decided to pursue going into the Air Force was because I really want to pursue nursing. So it was great because my boyfriend actually got me a couple of nursing related Christmas gifts, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But at this point, I'm just unpacking everything that goes into my nightstand. You know, I always keep the Vicks and the Tiger Balm right there in the nightstand just in case I need it. And here is the stethoscope that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. I love it. It's amazing. It's like a dark gray color and it's a mitten. And then he also got me like this little pocket nursing kit, which I got. Anywho, it's like a little kit that he gave me. And then you just saw me spray Boogie Boogie with some of his cologne <laughs> just so that I can have, you know, a little piece of home with me, a little piece of him. He let me take some of his cologne with me home, or not home, but back to the dorm. So I just sprayed him. I just sprayed Boogie. So I finished up unpacking my bed area and I'm moving on to under the cabinet. I like to keep my hygiene items on one side of the cabinet and my cleaning products on the other side. So the right side is hygiene, left side is cleaning products. I showed that lint roller in the beginning because I did have somebody comment on one of my videos. My what I So in this part of the video, I'm unpacking my medicine cabinet. Um, I tried to rearrange the shelves there, which you can do, but it wasn't going to fit what I wanted it to fit. So, anywho, I'm just showing you some of the supplements that I take. I take fish oil and triflex, which you can get at GNC for my joints. I take one a day women's multivitamin gummies. You can actually take two a day. So, as you saw, I took two there. And then I have the prenatal vitamins that they gave me at BMT, which I still take because it's good for iron supplements. Then GMC also gave me some other joint supplement, but I don't really use it. I just keep it there just in case. I have Excedrin and I have B12 for energy. So the foaming hand soap that I just showed you guys is called Pumpkin Cupcake. And oh my gosh, you guys, it smells delicious. I 10 out of 10 recommend. And then I have some lotion that I keep on the counter there that I got at Target before I came. So this is the finished product and this is what my sink under my sink in my medicine cabinet looks like. And then it was time for a break. I definitely needed to take a break. I ordered some Domino's just because I still have to go food shopping. I had nothing to eat in my room and I didn't want to go to DFAC. So I just ordered some Domino's and I relaxed for a little bit before I got back to unpacking. And this is actually a time lapse that I filmed on my phone, just showing you guys me unpacking my dresser or my night, what would you call this, desk. I was unpacking my desk, so that went by pretty quick. but I finally finished unpacking my room it took me quite a few hours I think I got here let's just say I got here at like three ish it's now eight um, definitely took some breaks in between because <laughs> lord knows I can't just focus on one thing so anywho um if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up 
I really want to do some cash stuffing videos and I want to go more into budgeting with you guys, especially on my new budget um, because I am making slightly less than I was making previously before I went into the military, just a little bit less. Um, but if I'm being honest, me not being on a budget has made me realize how much I enjoyed budgeting and how much I need to budget. But anywho, that's for like a whole nother video. So I am done unpacking. So like I mentioned earlier, when you leave for Exodus, uh, your room has to be completely empty. Like nobody is living here. I don't know why, especially since we're just moving straight back into the same rooms but i guess it's just you know they are getting new people from bnt as we are on exodus so i assume that the reason why is just in case um they don't want anything to go missing from your room or they don't want you to accuse of anything going missing from your room so that's why they make you secure everything in your wall locker but um yeah, so I went on Exodus for my two-week vacation, went back home. Um, my instructor let us take our Mod 5 exam before we left so that we didn't have to worry about studying for it or taking it when we got back. So it was nice because I didn't really need to, I guess it sounds messed up, but I didn't really have to study um, particularly for anything. Now, would I suggest that you guys study if you have this... Um, job yes it's a lot of information in a very short period of time if you guys want to know more about my job more about tech school and like everything that this job entails definitely leave a comment and let me know and i can make a more in-depth video about my job and everything that i'm learning and everything that you can expect to go through during tech school so with that being said, like I said earlier, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe for